Howdy all, Nurse Dude back, and I have the Unity Tactical Axon switch here. Forgive the little bit of a mess with the cabling. I have it already set up with zip ties and how I like it, and I don't want to have to redo it. But here's the switch itself. It's a nicely molded um, piece of plastic. Uh, it has the actual white light clicky right here that leads to the Surefire tail, and then the mod light button for the crane switch. It's nicely molded, um, rubberized bottom. I believe this hole is attached for a adapter for M-Lock if you wanted to put it on the side. I have it at the 12 o'clock position with the Picatinny mount here, which has integrated um, slots for zip ties for cable management, which is quite nice. And it goes together, clamps itself down with this kind of unique molded plastic clamp. The only gripe I have so far with the clamp is, is, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but initially the nut were not in here and you have to push them in. It um, spun a little bit and then rounded this. Uh, luckily Unity has been very responsive with getting a replacement at no cost, so that was really nice. But they're a little tiny, I believe they're number four screws ultimately, but they are hex key and they take a T10 hex key which is kind of nice. So overall, I'm really impressed with the molding and the design. Um, it's quite comfortable on the rifle itself, which I will mount it here and show you in a couple seconds. The click for the, um, I think this is the hot button. I can't remember the specific name of the standard style 45 button that they have is really nice. The, you definitely can do a partial activation and feel when it finally clicks, which is pretty good. And then the uh, laser crane plug spot, it is definitely, you have to actually press it to activate it. Um, only two really, um, or three I should say, really big complaints is the clamp mount system is a little slightly funky. I think they probably could have done a slightly better job with that, but that's just me. Um, but I can live with it. The added Benefit is that the built-in cable management slots for the zip ties kind of nice. Um, the other gripe I have is that you can't see it, but underneath here is a ring of this same shiny component for the plug. Really, you guys could have made it matte. You can see it's shiny down there. Uh, I wound up taking a piece of shrink wrap, the marine style stuff that has the glue on the back and I heated up just the back part so that way I'm still able to plug and unplug it off of my Surefire light. And then as usual, the crane plug for the, now this is obviously a Steiner issue, not here, but it's quite tight and it will prolapse the plug. So give me a second and I will mount it and I can show you guys on the rifle. All right, as you can see, I have it mounted relatively far forward, close to my D-ball. And actually, you can access the selector switch, see if I can get the right angle at it. Uh, selector switch, relatively easy with your thumb. So I don't really see it as a problem being that close. Um, definitely on a shorter rail, you, get, you have a little bit of a premium for space, and being monkey-armed, it's also even harder. But... It fits nicely, uh, fits well with my grip. It's not too awkward to get over. Um, the light itself, like I said, it's kind of bright, uh, but you can see that you actually do get a nice purchase on it for being momentary. And then you can actually hear the audible click, which is pretty nice. And then the thumb portion for the laser too. Let's see if we can get a reflection off my hand. There you go. You can see it. It definitely activates and you have to kind of give it a push to activate, which is not necessarily bad considering, you know, preventing any type of negligent discharge. But as I mentioned before, I put that shrink wrap so that way it doesn't have any reflecto. It actually worked out pretty nicely for there. And the cable management slots is a really nice touch so that way you can wind it up. And I highly recommend gently pulling this out and using a flathead screwdriver to kind of pop it out with because it will pop out that plug. I already had it move just a tiny bit here earlier. So as you can see, it fits out nicely. So far I like it, time will tell. My only concern for longevity wise is these tiny little screws. I, I, there's gotta be a better way to mount that. And I understand how 
they wanted to make it a compatible for doing like a side mount on the side for M lock, but there, there's got to be a better way. So that's probably my only real complaint aside from the shininess, which it's like, come on guys, you could at least try to make that matte so it's not reflective. But overall, like it pretty much so far, fits well. Um, definitely a little bit of an upgrade for taking over the, you know, the 15 slots or whatever for the Surefire one and adds a little bit of streamline and I would say overall probably helps with negligent discharges on both the light and then ultimately your laser device too. So I'll let you guys how it knows how it goes. Um, but I think I'm probably going to like it and I'll probably keep it for a while. So take care.